Hey everybody, the Ryman here coming to you with another Always Sometimes Monster video or series of videos. We are going to jump right back in here. If I can find which file is the most recent. This one? I'm just making sure because I suck at reading sometimes. Alright. See what what time it is outside. Cause there was a little bit of a break between the last time I recorded this, the last video, and this one. All right, so let's see. Haley's key, sleep monitor, Beaver and Russian's pamphlet, sandwich fixer, save to date. Yeah, we're still saving up money. In order, in order to eventually be able to take the bus. And we are here to crash on the couch. Alright, completed a journal page. Excellent. Yeah, I do, I do actually remember the guy suicided. Which is so, something extremely, extremely dark. I wonder if he could have been saved. Message from the witch. Where the hell are you? Dark if sick. Oh yeah. Well, we couldn't go yesterday because it was past visiting hours, so... We really had no choice. We'll check in with him in a second. Yeah, I've been getting really engrossed in the story. This is some really good shit. Now, lots of places to go, different ways you can influence the plot. Ah, here, here's the guy we saved, Chance. All right, let's save here. Okay, he's still saying the same thing. After we saved his life, we took the morally right approach. You know, because we're not complete assholes, I accepted a bribe, which I still think was a bribe. But, to be fair, I kind of needed that money. It's not like I was selling my soul to the devil. Some people might think otherwise, but... Shifty eyes, shifty eyes, shifty eyes. Alright, let's take a look. Ooh, there's a lot of people over here. What hell's going on? Special place in hell for whoever is responsible for all of this. I feel really bad for the family with kids that got booted out of here. Thank god they st still sell used can- what the f- Next thing you know, this whole city will be one big movie theater. You've got some nerves showing up around here. I heard about your article in the paper, big lot of help that did us. The bulldozers should be here any day now. Well, it's not like I completely kissed, uh, kissed up to them. Well, I kind of did, but I threw in some insults here and there. Ah, here it is. Jeff! I don't know what to do. Dark gives he's- oh god, he- What? What the fuck happened? After the show, we saw each other. It was perfect again. He said he loved me again and he was that he was sorry he ever left. Said it didn't matter what it cost him, he needed me in his life. For better or for worse, that we couldn't be apart because there was nothing more important than being together. Our bond was the only thing keeping either of us from sinking. I fucking knew this would happen. Why the hell did I listen to you? Let me guess, you two checked into some dive motel and spent the last few days shooting up? What the fuck is wrong with me? I didn't force him to do shit. He had a goddamn choice and he chose me. And this happens, you daft piece of shit. Yeah, he loves you, but this shit will kill him. Maybe it already has. If he can't keep away from you, then why can't you just help him get better? Because I'm a fucking addict too. 
We're opposite ends of a seesaw, and if one doesn't go down, then the other can never go up. Today he pays, and tomorrow I will, because that's the way it goes. There's no bouncing this shit. We just take turns feeling sorry for the other. Look, let's put our shit aside. I want to see him. Oh, man. So who's paying for all this? I know you don't have any money, so I don't know how you can afford to stay here. The label's helping out a lot, probably because they're worried the story will get leaked if he's not taken care of. However, since he can't do the rest of the tour, though, they've kind of closed the coin purse. Wouldn't be a problem if his fucking doctor had a heart, though. What are you talking about? The doctor guy looking after Darkiv. He's like an expert, but he's a greedy motherfucker. All this guy does is walk into the room twice a day, tap on his clipboard a few times, and we have to pay a fortune for the privilege. I swear, I saw him cuss out an old lady because her dear dead husband's pension couldn't cover her medicine. He's a total fuckface. God, I'm... <laughs> well, no censoring myself in this game. Have you talked to the guy? Maybe he's not as heartless as you think. Ask him to do some work pro bono? Pro bono? Yeah, why not? The least you can do is ask. I'm sure he'd listen at the least. Come on, he'll take one look at me and tell me to fuck right off. He makes his living off people like me. You could do it, though. Go beat the shit out of him until he agrees to do it for free. I don't know about that, but I guess I could talk to him sometime. Where would I find him? This guy does the same shit every day. Every morning he gets a coffee at the Krusty Cream. I almost said the Krusty Crab. <laughs> he ducks out every early afternoon to go see a movie at the Sunny Megaplex, and after hours he's probably at the Empire Pub congratulating himself. Okay, I can find him at any point in the day, it just depends. Ah, huh. how nice of you. I'll be hanging around here pretty much all the time. Go talk to him and let me know when, what he says, okay? Well, there's no harm in trying. Jesus. Alright, so it's early afternoon. I don't have any jobs, so I might as well go see him, right? He would be at the Megaplex. Although I do want to visit the employment center. Hey, I'm here about a job. Name? Jeff. Any particular talents of note? I'm pretty good with words. Ah, I meant trades, skills, useful stuff. Never mind, it's going to be fine. There's two doors at the end of the hallway over there. Each one leads to a different bus group and will take you to a different work site. Read the job descriptions carefully because you're not coming back until that bus comes for you. How does pay payment work around here? Cash at the end of the day when you get back. Some jobs pay more than others, but you can earn pretty well at most if you work hard. Of course, the agency gets half of it as part of your placement agreement, but them's the breaks. Half? Come on. That's ridiculous. It's not my problem. If you don't like it? Hit the road. Else, if you can keep your lips shut, the buses are waiting to take off pretty soon. I think that first door is heading off to a meatpacking plant or something if you're good with machines and assembly lines. God, no. The other bus is heading out to some hippie tofu factory or something. You'll be turning soybeans into fake chicken nuggets or whatever. That is evil! Who wants to eat a tofu chicken nugget? A, a faux nugget? Well, I, I'm sure there's some people out there, but I don't. I don't want to eat a faux nugget. I want real, well, whatever, however you would describe a chicken nugget in terms of realism. Really, no matter how you look at it, chicken nuggets aren't exactly good for you, are they? Okay.
Dr. Berenstein? You got a second? What? Who are you? Your new best friend, your worst nightmare, it's about a patient. I could go this route if I wanted to beat the shit out of him, but... Um... This would just be creepy. Let's just go the straightforward approach. I'm here about a patient of yours. Let me guess, that pathetic wannabe Cobain wasting a bed somewhere else could... Someone else could use because he can't be an artist without a needle in his arm? You'd think such a would-be talent with all that money for drugs could pay for his own hospital bills. If you're here to ask me to help her for free, no, I won't do it. I already told your big black friend that barely five minutes ago. What? Do you guys rove in packs? Big black man? Wait, Malcolm? Well, why not? It's a life, isn't it? Not all lives are equal. Let that be a rather harsh profes professional, professional opinion. Well, pro if you're a, pro a true professional, then you should help people no matter what. I mean, that's your job as a professional doctor. I only have limited time to help people. I don't have time to judge people and money is a mark. I don't have time to judge people and money is a marker of one's ability to function in better society. Wow. Your friend, despite the glamorous dumpster grunge appearance, doesn't have any. You elitist bastard. Please, save me the privilege check. I did my part during the non protests. Now if you don't mind, I got another two hours before my next patient meeting. Beside all that, I didn't come to own the old Hofstetter mansion working for free. Well, that didn't go as planned. I better go speak with Viper at the hospital. <laughs> you, el you elitist prick. Is Haley back? We haven't seen her in a while. That's a long time to go get, like, lubricating oils and shit. A long time. What's up? Thanks. Just about the kind of response I expected. Not worth it. Well, let's invest in two because it's cheap. I want to go for at least 18 bucks minimum before I sell my stocks, or invest in my stocks. Sell my stocks, my bad. Mm, which way do I want to go? I guess I'll be a good Samaritan and do this first, and then at night go working? Maybe. Big black man now. Oh, is it? Uh, maybe it's the bouncer. So I met the doc. Real piece of work. He's a total asshole and won't budge on the bill. We gotta go smash up his car. Break his headlights and send him a message. What? A guy like that's gotta have some pretty fancy cars. We could go to his place, break into the garage, and smash the fuck out of his windshield. Well, he did mention something about the old Hostetter mansion just outside town. Why would you tell her this? A guy with that kind of money is bound to have a nice ride. If I remember correctly, though, don't mansions have heavy security? What the hell are you thinking? Well, maybe we could find something to blackmail him with up there. I bet he's into some really weird porn. Ethics aside, that might actually work. Been settled. Whenever you're ready to go, just let me know and I'll drive us out of there. Let's do it quick, though. I don't know how much time he's got. Shit, it's a timed thing. I have to choose if I want to do that or if I want to... Do a do a job. Let me see how much money I have saved up. Holy shit, go smash up his car. 
That's classic. Alright, so I have about 700 bucks saved up. You know, I'm in pretty good shape. I think I could spare doing a doing a job to do this. I'm pretty much in good shape to get the um to get the uh, bus ticket, and I'm not in any rush to get my apartment back because I have that one that flat to stay at, the one that Haley gave me the key for. So really, I'm in I'm in okay shape, I think. Yeah, let's just do it. Now or never. Okay, let's roll. Why the hell are you wearing that again? So people can't tell who I am. Whatever. Look, his car's right over there. Let's go smash it up. We could take a look around for a computer or something first. Just be careful. I'm sure this place is loaded with security cameras. Wait here, I'll go pick the front door lock. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. This is not- on a scale of 1 to stupid. Come on, let's do this for my baby! Alright, let's go. This is really risky. Weird, that bear's got a name embroidered on its chest. I guess your name is Grizzly Jones, little fella. I bet this golf club could do some damage. Four! I'll just hold on to that just in case. Search the supply cabinet. Hmm, what do we have here? Ooh, an Indie Heroes figure. Alright. What else? A bunch of used Kleenex, some of, some My Little Horsies DVDs. Oh, sh oh god. Look like some kind of printer toner cartridge. Oh, okay, for the printer, so we can print out whatever blackmail we find on the computer. Wow, that is creepy. Are you avoiding me? Doc, you gotta help me. I got this rash down on the, like, crawl space between the tops of my ass cheeks, and it's really annoying because every time when I lean back in any chair, the spot gets tweaked and it stings my whole butt. I still don't have health insurance or anything, but I'd really appreciate some advice on what to do about this whole pain in the butt situation. See, even in our darkest times, humor finds a way. Thank you for choosing Bulk Co. as the leading supplier of bulk products worldwide. We appreciate your business. You're great. Let's see, he got Andro Penis Topical Cream, Assert Power Snack Granola, Vector Portable Steam Cleaner, Child Best Premium Dog Food, and Lubricant. So he is a perv. My face cloud, because of this policy, we no longer offer individualized passwords. Your request to set password to Grizzmop has been declined. Let's remember that, or try to, Grizzmop. Ooh, edit my face account. Fart blaster, doctor loves farts to death, relationship status forever alone. Today I was in the middle of helping a patient and I felt to rumble in my stomach and suddenly, before I could even react, I started to violently shit myself right in front of the cute new med students my wife told me to stay away from. Boy, it was embarrassing. Then the patient died from the shit smell. Really rough day. <laughs> wow. Okay, I should be prepared for something I need to censor, shouldn't I? Uh, creepy? Um, Grizz Mop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 